Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Behind Enemy Lines podcast. Tonight we're going to practice painting some DPM camo for Team Yankee. Uh, what I've got here is a little British uh, squaddy. He's a little NCO guy, and we're going to give him his first coat of DPM. Uh, starting with Reflective Green, it's a uh, pretty good color I found to replace the old Russian green which we used to paint everything in. Now I don't have the new colors that uh, Battlefront make for it. Uh, so we're gonna go with what I think is best and reflective green seems to uh, reflect that. <laughs> Punny. Uh, so I've done him now and I'm gonna move on to my next color uh, which is uh, green ochre as I was shaking there off screen. wonder what was going on there. Um, Green ochre is a very nice replacement for the sand color they recommend. It, um, what's it? It, uh, oh dear. It's a very good companion color to the, uh, the green there. So I'm just pouring that into pot because I was not prepared earlier with it at all. So I'm just trying to get a nice angle here for you guys because I don't want you guys to miss out because as you know, my camera is always in a terrible position. I have however upgraded the lighting so hopefully that's reflected in here and also I've purchased a new microphone so hopefully this is coming through. What I'm aiming to do here with the uh, sand is to make it more bold because you want you, your lighter colors to um, stand out more because if you go straight with the black and browns they're going to wash out those colors straight away. So I'm aiming for the quite large uh, random patterns of sand when it comes or the sand color or the ochre in this case when it comes to doing the DPM. Um, just trying to make sure there's actually this is the majority color. Uh, shouldn't be too much long. The video is being played at a 200% speed increase because I don't want to bore you basically watching paint dry. Uh, so we we'll just come along. Just get everywhere it would build up. Um, the cool thing about this is you can also look up quite a lot of color photos online. Um, resources all over the place because it's a was a very popular camouflage. Um, actually, I still think some some nations use it. I want to say no, New Zealand doesn't use it. I know we've we've upgraded to that uh, wonderful multicam stuff, and Australia definitely doesn't use it. They use their uh, Auscam stuff. That's uh, questionable uh, so yep I'm just coming around getting all the little bits making little wavy lines little curly splotches all right so the next color we're gonna move to is uh, chocolate brown now I chose chocolate brown I could have chosen something a bit lighter like uh, beige brown the one we often use for rifle stocks but I found chocolate brown to hit the spot and you'll see in a second so what we want to do is when we do the chocolate brown or the brown is we want to intrude on parts of the sand that we've already done. This is um, helps it become the disruptive uh, pattern that it needs to be. So our second uh, big color is of course the brown. It's after the sand. Uh, the way I pick paints is I just look in the uh, usually in the guide that's in the back of most uh, Flames of War and Team Yankee books and if I don't own the color I try and just eyeball the closest color to it. Most things at a 15mm level are um, pretty straightforward and you can't really go wrong if you've got a good color match. I mean if this was German Bright Camo Green and I was using Saddle Brown and maybe uh, an actual rocky sand then there'd be trouble but I just tried to keep it a muted palette all right final and of course smallest color is black now unfortunately at one point here you'll see it that I've got too much black on my brush and uh, there we go too much so I just wipe some way on my back of my thumb uh, the angry man's palette as it were so we're just going along really small really thin lines like 
just the, the edge of your brush moving across the uniform there. Now this, I like to make it cross both or go between uh, both sets of camouflages. It really brings it all together. All right, this camo, now camo is normally the hardest part, but even though paying it two times speed is actually really quick to do. I'm going to go away now and do the rest of his parts and oh, we will uh, show you all that. Sorry about that, I had a little editing incident there watching my own video. Uh, but this here is the final product. So I've just gone on with the basic colors. Um, let the rifle black, a bit of silver and darkened it down uh, with some Bradley shade. I uh, used the combinations of khaki and khaki gray for the uh, webbing and for the uh, hat and just some uh, light flesh tone there. Hopefully this isn't too washed out. I think I may have done his flesh a little bit too white. But that's it. He's done. Uh, go out, make a million more, play Team Yankee, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.